Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this one we are checking out, no, let me get the x-ray off. We're checking out the Typhoon Mark 1B, and I believe this is, yeah, the late. Um, so before we get too involved in the review, um, as of recording this intro, we are at 121,000, not not thousand hundred and twenty one subscribers so I just want to say thank you to all of you guys who have subscribed it's been nice kind of feels like I'm starting to build a community and I love responding to your guys' comments so let's keep it up and see where it goes and at a thousand subscribers we're gonna go and fly my model airplane anyways continuing with the video um on the last one that I posted directly about a plane, which was the Hellcat, a few of you commented on the stat cards and the engine horsepower, and you guys were 100% correct. So, the horsepower on the Typhoon Mark 1B for the Napier Sabre 2 is pretty correct. So, it does make... 2200 horsepower but it's at 3700 rpm so that's the real world spec and that's what this engine makes now it says that it's an inline 24 cylinder but it has horizontally opposed pistons which basically makes it a really large subaru boxer engine so i thought that was pretty cool and you can find out a lot more information if you just look it up from external sources because I guess Gaijin is just not very accurate when it comes to specs. Anyways, without any further ado, let's hop right into the gameplay and I'll tell you guys a little more about this plane. So to start things off, I want to do a little bit of a comparison with the P-47 and the specific variant is the D-40. So, the Typhoon Mark IIb comes in, well, according to B&E Systems, the maximum weight of the plane was 13,250 pounds with two underwing mounted 1,000 pound bombs. So, right here I'm flying it without the bombs, so we'll call it 11,250 pounds-ish. And it has a 42 foot wingspan. Now, the P 47 has a 41 foot wingspan and an empty weight of 10,000 pounds. So I would call them pretty comparable, but I wish that the P 47 flew like the Typhoon did. The Typhoon can actually climb in a decent time, so that allows it to fill more rolls in my opinion. It doesn't really have a hard time intercepting planes like the B-25 and with the 20mm Hispanos it can pretty easily take them out. Now just one more thing about the P-47 is that it has a Pratt & Whitney R2800-59 it's putting out 2000 horsepower so uh, for the P-47, I just got that information off of Wikipedia, so it might be a little bit different, especially if you factor in the N variant of the P-47. Um, but back to the Hispanos, you're really going to want to take the time to research and purchase the gun upgrades for this plane. Otherwise, these Hispanos are not very accurate, and they overheat and jam pretty easily. But overall, with the gun upgrades, I didn't have too much of a problem as far as accuracy goes, or overheating and jamming. So, it's something else to think about. In this footage, the plane is fully spaded. Um, so when you first unlock the plane, it's going to be a little bit slower and a little bit less maneuverable. But overall, with how large this plane is, 
it maneuvers very well and I guess that's just a testament to the British engineering but I mean this thing is huge and it can easily make your pilot black out I mean I'm sure most planes can but this is just on a different level for the size of the, of the plane and the airframe a uh, little fail right there let's just ignore that a little bit <laughs> um, so you do have the four bladed prop with the mark 1b the light variant compared to the three blade and that does help the performance as far as top speed and climb rate and overall I kind of feel like the engine performance is pretty even across the board um, I believe that according to the stat card the optimal altitude you know for the top speed is around 5800 6800 meters but even on deck this plane is very fast for like 450 500 kilometers in level flight depending on the map you know I'm pretty sure that a warm environment versus a cold environment does affect the performance of your plane but overall it's pretty quick so it's capable of boom and zoom or boom and run but it can hold its own against BF 109s especially Focke Wolf 190s and I've gone up against a lot of P-47s and it's really not even fair because those guys go down to the deck or don't take the time to side climb so they're super easy targets and if you're in the Typhoon just go for the P-47s or the American planes because they can't out turn you unless you see a P-63 then watch out for those guys let's see oh uh Offensive underwing armaments, so you can take up to 2,000 pounds of bombs in the form of 1,000 pounds on each wing, or you can take 8 unguided rockets, so this plane can also kind of fulfill the role of a strike aircraft, so all in all, if you're grinding through the British tech tree, Definitely try out the Typhoon, especially if you just want to take a little bit of a break from Spitfires. It's kind of nice just to fly something that's a, a little bigger and has more offensive armaments. Even the Mark 1A can do very, very well with its <laughs> 12 machine guns, which is pretty crazy. But overall, pretty fun plane to fly. I don't know what happened whenever I was getting this footage like 10 minutes before I started recording I was doing really good in games and then hit record on OBS and it just all went to crap so I love when that happens <laughs> it's just the luck of the draw I guess but we are going to wrap up the video right there guys so as always if you liked watching leave a like down below if you have any planes that you want to see me fly leave them in a comment and same with any war thunder tips even if it's just a random tidbit of information like the deal about the the stack cards you know that stuff helps me out and i love to hear your guys's input anyways subscribe if you want to see more of my content and we'll catch you in the next one